Can you tell us a little bit about your TikTok career and what that's about? Yeah. So essentially what happened was I'd been making music for a few years and I, I got a lot of hate for it. A lot of people had basically been like, oh, you're never going to make it. Oh, you're never going to do blah, blah, blah. And I was just sick of it. I was sick and tired. And at the time, TikTok was just starting to blow up. I'd seen some songs go viral. So I had a strategy where I'd basically title songs over like whatever the trending phrase was. And if something was popular, I'd make a song for it. And I titled it in a way to try to get into the top of search results. So when I made the song Simp Nation theme song, I basically made that song to be like, here's a song that I made. I want as many people to see as possible just for like all of my haters from the past to see this song and be like, oh, I said all this about Rose. But look, I'm my song is on the For You, or I'm sorry, her song is on my For You page. And I got that sometimes. There are people oh, like on Twitter and stuff who are like, oh, why is Rose on my For You page? Oh my God, I, I can't believe it. I Rose Moulet. <laughs> but it, it, it feels good. Like it was a song, it went pop, it was like kind of popular like three years ago. Um, you know, I had like 37,000 videos to it. If you combine all the views together, it was like at 200 million. Let's it was play a nice little moment. Let's know what song yeah. you're talking about. We're going to have Henry. He's our helper in the back. He's going to pull up that clip whenever ready. Um, how many songs have you made for TikTok? I've made a few. Um, obviously, that's by far the most successful one. But I, I, that was my second attempt. And then I probably made, I don't know, maybe like five other attempts. And uh, I just, like I said, it's kind of that thing where there's luck involved. But you just keep doing it and you know that you have the right formula. So at some point, you know, I'm sure I'll announce it. Welcome, Welcome to Simp Nation. Hey boy, listen please. Don't you wanna simp me? Yeah. Alrighty. And th the trend was like a bunch of couples would like use this, like uh, some girls would, like play this and then they hear the simp part and see how like their boyfriend reacted, maybe like a little moment or something. It was like a cute little trend. Uh, that is cute. That is cute. That's funny. Yeah. Do you ever like sometimes try to think of how the song could be used and then write music to it? Um, A little bit. Uh, this song going viral was like kind of random. Like I obviously specifically wrote it to go viral, but I didn't expect the trend to come with it. I didn't expect that part of the song um, to go viral. It was just kind of a fluke the way it happened. But I mean, obviously you want to see these things coming, but TikTok really is in control. Like if they choose to use your song in a certain way, they create the trends. Like if somebody creates like a viral dance to like a song or something, usually the person who creates the song isn't doing that or the person creating the song isn't creating the trend. What you can do is just try to get to it as many eyes as possible and make the song engaging enough where people want to create stuff using your song. Right, right. I feel like sometimes people strategize like, ooh, I want to make a song where people will like use oh, their yeah. dogs, for instance. Like, have oh, you heard people, people could do that. 